Welcome to Signal and System Lecture Series. Here in this session, I'll be explaining very interesting property of Fourier transform that is duality or similarity property of Fourier transform. And to explain that, this is my session outline where first I'll explain your statement and then we will see some examples. So it will be more clear like how to apply this duality property. So statement is very easy, but we need to solve example. So it will be clear like how to use this property. So let me give you statement first. So statement of this property that says if you have any signal x of t and if Fourier transform of that is x of omega, then as per duality property, we can say x of t Fourier transform that is 2 pi into x of minus omega. Now by statement, it is little difficult to understand this. So let us have some examples. So it will be more clear like what is the meaning of this statement. So I'll consider some examples and then you will be getting it like how we can use this property to solve some typical problems. So let us have example one. And question is find Fourier transform of 6 divided by t square plus 9. Now when you read this question, you will be finding like we don't know any formula to have Fourier transform of this. And even if you do it by integration, you will be finding it is extremely difficult. So one should not go for integration in this type of term. All we can do is we should try to understand what is that Fourier transform of time domain signal into frequency domain with this kind of representation. So that will gives you idea about like how to have Fourier transform of this. Like see, as we know, e to the power minus a t. So that is having Fourier transform and that is 2a divided by omega square plus a square. So this is what similar, but here this is there in frequency domain and this is there in time domain. So we can replace frequency domain to time domain and we can have this duality property to solve this problem. So here we can say as per this e to the power here see a is equals to we can say if you apply a is equals to 3 then we can say e to the power minus 3 mode of t Fourier transform that will be 6 divided by omega square plus 9. So e to the power minus 3 mode of t Fourier transform is 6 divided by omega square plus 9. Here you will be finding that is there in terms of t but here this is there in terms of omega. And now we can apply this property of duality so, see, I can say if Fourier transform of minus 3 mode of t, that is 6 divided by omega square plus 9, then 6 divided by t square plus 9 Fourier transform, that has to be 2 pi into x of minus omega. Now see what is x of minus omega. So here we are replacing this with time. So here we need to replace this with again time. So two times replacement will result into frequency domain only. Right. So here instead of this signal we need to replace it with this signal. 
so this will be 2 pi into e to the power minus 3 into mode of minus omega so this will result into 2 pi into e to the power minus 3 into mode of omega so all we need to do is we need to replace time domain to frequency domain and then again frequency domain to time domain so here see e to the power minus 3 mode of t that is having Fourier transform 6 by omega square plus 9 so we are relating that with time domain so 6 divided by t square plus 9 Fourier transform that has to be 2 pi into x of minus omega where now in terms of time domain whatever function is there that we need to replace it with omega now let us have one more example so it will be more clear what exactly the case which we are doing here now see if I say question is find Fourier transform of 1 by JT so we don't have any particular formula to have 1 by JT but you might be knowing about 1 by J omega function right so you might be having idea about what about 1 by J omega function so we already have idea about signum function so signum function signum function is having Fourier transform and that is 2 divided by j omega signum function is having Fourier transform that is 2 divided by j omega so we can say based on this signum function example here we can directly relate it over here so what about the case which is there with 1 by jt so see here even I need to balance it the reason is 1 by jt is there so for 1 by 2 signum function Fourier transform that is 1 by j omega right now see here we will be applying this rule of duality so duality means what first you can consider time domain into frequency and then again consider frequency into time so here if half of signum function Fourier transform that is 1 by j omega then one can say 1 by jt Fourier transform instead of omega 1 by jt we can say it is 2 pi into x of minus omega where now x of minus omega that has to be this so that is 2 pi into half into signum of minus of omega so this half will get cancelled this will be pi into signum of minus omega you see how we are applying it so first you should see what is the Fourier transform which is there in terms of 1 by j omega instead of 1 by jt and then replace it with time to frequency and frequency to time again and you will be finding by having 2 pi into x of minus omega we can be able to solve this problem so I hope that you have understood this session and I think this is sufficient to explain duality property of Fourier transform and this is what we need to understand and you need to do practice I'll upload all this material on my application you can download it from my application description of application is there in description of all videos you just go through it 
and you will find it easier to have revision from all this material which I am teaching here. So just go through it from my application. Thank you so much for watching this video.